So I love, I love the ropes because they coach themselves to a degree, right? So when we get on the ropes, we're not like, oh, I want to create unsymmetrical, crappy waves that don't ever make it to the end. Uh, I just want them to look irregular and funky and, and feel weird in my whole body. Never. Like, nobody ever is approaching it when they, sometimes that's why it's intimidating. It's like, I don't think I can make my waves reach all the way to the end. But if you can make sexy waves halfway down, hey, I'll take that. And you'll take that too. It's, it is a good feeling when you make these nice symmetrical, right, waves. Both sides look the same, right? We want to produce that. Or both sides look the same here, right? I'm, I'm working on that bilateral connection, right? I'm creating the same amount of power on both sides. It's going all the way down. Right, my whole body's having to communicate to create that frequency and force, right? Or side to side. I'm doing lateral waves here, or a cyclone right cyclone outward circles here or in and out right all of these it coaches itself to a degree now i say to a degree because sometimes the wave isn't working and so we do we're doing all sorts of crazy things to get the wave to look good and to feel good but usually we, we know we inside and intrinsically we know ah uh, we don't really feel good but at least the wave looks good well, obviously, if we don't feel good, we don't want to do it. So keep it in your functional range of motion. And then they coach themselves to a degree. Um, obviously, we want to coach there, somebody to cue us there. If we're coming out of form and putting our shoulder or our back or, or our hips or our knees or something in a really vulnerable position where it could get hurt. But for the most part, these ropes tend to coach themselves. Pretty awesome.